Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on my go-to fresh makeup look. We're also going to be swatching some of my favorite lipsticks from the MAC Powder Kiss collection. Before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to remind you guys to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you turn on post notifications so that you don't miss when I upload a new video. And let's get started. So I am applying Studio Fix Fluid in NC30. And I'm being harassed by Chihuahua. Oh my God. May I help you? I think she wants to sit with me. We'll see how it goes. Can you say hi? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Oh. So I'm gonna be using the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. Contouring is just very essential to my life. This is medium dark because in my head I'm imaginary tan. I actually did put on a layer of um, fake tan. I feel like I'm not as tan as I like appreciate myself being right now, but we'll make it work. Nothing a little bronzer can't help. So I'm just taking the lightest shade. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna contour my cheekbones a la Llorona. You guys, it's so crazy that I did my Halloween video and then that they're coming out with a La Llorona video. <clears throat> when I, I did that tutorial, I like contoured my cheeks like, I don't know, like a Halloween video. And I just felt so snatched that I was like, dude, I wanna contour my cheeks like this every single day. Next, I'm going to use Select Cover Up in NW20. And I'm gonna put this over the lids and I'm gonna carve out the brows. I already have my brows done. I love this concealer for carving out the brows and um, the eyelids because it does the trick. It gives you nice coverage, but it doesn't, uh, it's not like too sticky. Sometimes I feel like if I use a concealer that's too sticky on the lids, it creases. And then also it's actually hard to blend your eyeshadow that way. And then while we're at it, I am going to take this down the center of the nose. So since this look is more about the lips, like the eyes are kind of neutral, I'm going to just use the contour palette on the eyes. Normally I'm such like a big eyeshadow person, like I feel really weird when I don't have a lot on my lids, but I did my makeup like this the other day with just like lashes and a wing, barely any eyeshadow, and I really, really liked it. I felt it was very fresh. So ever since then, I've been doing my makeup like this, and I feel like it's just really quick and easy, and yeah, it looks fresh. <laughs> So I'm taking a little bit of this contour powder and I'm just gonna contour the lids lightly, not too much. I gotta watch myself because I'll get carried away and before you know it, I have like a cut crease. Okay, so now let's do the under eyes. I will use Max Select Cover Up to differ from my, oh, that's a lot already, to differ from my regular uh, concealer that I always use. So I'm gonna bring it down the sides of my nose, the precursor to my contour. One thing I noticed, because I, I normally just use a powder concealer, because it's just what I like, but I do notice that a cream concealer is nice because it looks like real skin and it's dewy, whereas the powder is so, so matte. I actually do like cream concealers for during the day when I have no makeup on, just bare skin, because the concealer can actually look like bare skin versus like if you have a powder, it's obviously very matte, just a different look. Okay, let's take a little bit of powder. This is my Monica Dar C3 powder. I'm just gonna dust it over my under eye concealer, but I wanna keep this pretty light because I don't want to cover it too much. It'll also get like cakey too if I put too much powder over the concealer. So I'm also going to take Mineral Skin Finish in Dark Tan and let's just warm up the cheeks.
Let's finish up the eyes. That's what I love about this this stuff is that, or this makeup look is that like I'm already done with the eyes. Actually, before we do the eyes, let's contour the nose. I'm gonna take a matte highlight powder first and go down the center of the nose. I'm gonna go back in with the Studio Fix uh, contour powder. And I'm gonna go from the eyebrow down the side of the nose. Oh, I overdid it. Just hit the control Z. And just shape the tip of the nose. I'm just gonna bring this in too on the sides of my nose. I'm always changing the way I contour my nose. Like right now I think I like to bring the concealer really far in. Sometimes I change my mind, but that's what we'll do today. Let's do a wing. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Liquid Liner. So I always just start by filling in the lash line. And then towards the outside, I start like bringing it up. I'm like, how, how do I want to wing today? Oh, I have a scar over here and it messes with me sometimes. Drag it back. And then just fill it in. Okay, next we are going to put on some big ass lashes because it be like that sometimes. I applied the glue, let it dry. Please don't play me. See, this lash is a little long. Cause see how you can see it dip below the wing? That shouldn't happen, but it's happening. And ain't nobody got time, so we're gonna leave it. This is always my eye that wants to play me and it gets like, I like pinch the lash and it gets applied all funny. So I'm really hoping she's gonna cooperate today. I feel like when I stick it in the middle, like it's just a better outcome. It's when I like stick it on the sides and then try and compensate in the middle, it doesn't work. Just go like this to make that caterpillar stick. I need a blow dryer. Very advanced technique. I'm also going to apply some mascara just to blend my natural lashes with the cat, I, I mean the false lashes. So I'm going to add a really bright highlight to the tip of my nose. And then I'm also gonna add that same highlight to my tear duct, the tear duct areas of the eyes. Let's add a more golden highlight to the bridge of the nose. And then to the forehead. Next, let's add some blush. I wish I had like a brighter pink handy, but this is what I have right now. So let's apply that to the apples of the cheeks. Blush is always a must for me. I feel like it's overlooked sometimes, but I just think it really warms up the face. It's cute and girly looking and it's a total must. Okay, so you can really wear any lip color with this makeup look. I also wanted to try on a couple different colors and show you guys the new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. So I'm sure you guys have heard about them. They're really, really nice because they're creamy, they're pigmented. It feels like a balm going on, but it's very moisturizing and it looks matte, which is really nice for a matte lipstick because a lot of the times it feels like matte lipsticks are very drying. Um, and it cracks on your lips or sometimes certain colors will give you like funny like butthole lips I don't know, but this is kind of just 
easy to wear. It feels good on the lips, I'd say. So yeah, I actually posted a picture on my IG if you guys want to check it out. You know, give a like, you know, go ahead, it's, it's fine. So I'm gonna try on a couple of the colors today and see, see what we're vibing with. It's all about the vibes. Can we talk about this color? She looks bright. This is called Influ Influentially It. And this color looks like the color of my dreams, y'all. I love, I love like a nude, 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 like a white nude. Like normally I feel like they can't make nudes nude enough for me. It's a lot of nudes. Let's see if it will go with my favorite MAC lip liner, which if you guys are watching my channel, you already know. Right now you're like, oak lip liner. I love oak lip liner. Yeah, it's gonna work, it's gonna work for sure. I like this lipstick too, because it goes on the lips so smooth. Like it's a matte, but it doesn't feel like a matte. Well, I love her. She looks like she's ready to mind her own business, uh, hang out with her chihuahua, put her bills on auto pay. Like she's ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try a different color. This one is called Style Shocked. And this is another orangey red color. I love an orangey red because I feel like it just has like those like retro vibes. And especially with a makeup look like this, like if you put on um, an orangey red, I feel like you just look so, I don't know, like you tried. <laughs> We're gonna apply this without a liner, which is great. It's even better in my book. Mm, yes, honey. So even though this is very bright, this is very wearable. I love this. I would wear this anywhere, basically. Who is she? She's on top of it. She knows about it before you know about it. You know what I mean? She just knows things. Just one of those girls. Loves Target, um, does group fitness classes, and smashes it. It's very competitive with the people around her. I'm like, I like this color. Oh, let me get a selfie real quick. This one is called Impulsive. This is kind of like the vibe I'm feeling today. I need to try it on and see, but this is a really nice nude color. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This goes with anything. Who is this girl? She drives the Lexus, very close with her mom, studied abroad in college, of course. I'm gravitating towards this nude. And then the last one, this, I would say this is a very wearable, user-friendly nude. This is called my Tweety. She looks like I mean, it looks beautiful. Goes for sure. Like, this looks like a responsible nude. Gel manicures only, never acrylics. She gets blowouts on Wednesdays. Yeah, that's what she looks like. She looks good. She got her shit together too, you know? All right, you guys, so that was the whole video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.